Hello, everybody. Uh, I hope everyone's getting excited about uh, getting back to uh, uh, church uh, next week. Uh, from what I understand, uh, starting Monday morning, uh, well, from for now anyway, uh, morning mass will not happen. Uh, however, in the morning at 9 a.m., uh, we're going to have outdoor adoration and distribution of communion uh, every morning at uh, 9 o'clock. And then in the evening at 5.30, there will be um, uh, confessions. And uh, I'm not sure if that's inside or outside. I don't remember. Uh, Father Adam told me, but I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, confessions uh, from 5.30 and then at... Uh, 6.30 we'll have evening mass uh, so it's uh, going to be a mass every day but it will be in the evening uh, after the adoration and distribution of communion in the morning the church will be open for private prayer uh, so you will once again can go into the sanctuary uh, during the day uh, socially distancing yourselves being safe and uh, and just spending some time uh, in front of the tabernacle. So uh, exciting for next week. I'm anxious to uh, to uh, get back there and, and enjoy God's presence in His house. Uh, so I hope all of you are as well, uh, ready for uh, our slow and cautious uh, re-entry into uh, our. Uh, our church. Anyway, um, this morning, uh, the readings this morning from Mass, uh, the first reading uh, we hear of St. Paul being in uh, Athens, the center of the cultural center of Greece, where uh, uh, all the arts and the intellectuals and, and uh, were gathered. Uh, that was sort of their hub. And uh, Paul was noticing all of the uh, arrays of uh, worship that they had there and they had a particular um, statue I guess or some sort of shrine built to an unknown God and uh, he sort of pointed out he says well you didn't know who it was but let me tell you who that is and he explained uh, uh, God the Father and, and uh, Jesus and dying on the cross and when he talked about resurrection they were a little bit taken aback, but some of them accepted that and wanted to hear, hear more. And so he had, uh, you know, he he did well in uh, in Greece. From there, he went to Corinth, and uh, so the church was growing, and people were uh, coming on board and, and understanding the one true God and His love and His mercy and His might and power. Uh, Paul describing to them how he was the one who gives us life and we he, we only live through him and uh, because of him so it's it's uh, and I love the Acts of the Apostles it just gives you that blow by blow account of how our church got started out and, and how uh, everything was uh, put in motion by the Apostles and and by Paul and and uh, various other people, the church fathers, who grew the church and, and, and kept it alive and well and uh, taught nothing but the truth. So uh, we need to do that as well as, uh, as we move forward in our lives, is stick to uh, what is right and what is true and what is good and uh, just stick to the Gospels and stick to our, our faith and what the church teaches us. And, I think that's where we can live uh, in in relative uh, joy and comfort and peace and knowing that we're doing God's will. Our gospel today, Jesus again is uh, uh, expressing his uh, uh, plan to go back to the Father and send us the Holy Spirit. And I think what I'm hearing him say today is, uh, there's there's the Father, there's me, and there's the Holy Spirit, but we're all one. 
it's a united one God. And, uh, you know, that's a lot to wrap your mind around is this three persons, this trinity, but, but one God. And uh, he's trying to express that unity uh, where uh, the, the Holy Spirit only speaks what the Father and I speak and what you hear from us you'll you'll know is true through him and it's uh you know it, it's a it's kind of mind-boggling the uh, the idea of trinity but uh it's uh that's just who god is god god is love so there has to be you know the the beloved and the lover and the love between them and that's the uh, the essence and the the makeup of of the Holy Trinity. So it's uh, just something that Jesus was expressing this morning in today's gospel. But anyway, it's time to get into our evening prayer today, and uh, let us begin. As soon as I get to the right page here, the iBrevery app. As I mentioned earlier, and I hope all of you have uh, been able to upload it into your phone, and I hope you're using it uh, not just at this time, but it, it affords you just so much uh, content that uh, there's just, it's a valuable, valuable um, tool for our prayer life. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in me. Alleluia. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold. My fortress, I stand firm. How long will you attack one man and to break him down as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope in a constantly changing world. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in me. Alleluia. Let the peoples praise you, Lord God. Let them rejoice in your salvation. Alleluia. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us so will your ways be known upon earth and all nations learn your saving help let the peoples praise you O god let all the peoples praise you let the nations be glad and exult 
For you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us, so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. Let the peoples praise you, Lord God, let them rejoice in your salvation. Alleluia. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him, he is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifice day by day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit will glorify me, for he will protect, for he will proclaim to you all that he has received from me. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. 
he has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Spirit will glorify me, for he will proclaim to you all that he has received from me. In his Son, risen from the dead, God has opened for us the way to everlasting life. Let us ask the Father, through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. God of our fathers, you raised your Son Jesus from the dead and clothed him in glory. Move our hearts to complete repentance, that we may walk in newness of life. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You have led us back to the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Let us faithful under the guidance of the shepherds of the church. Keep us faithful. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You chose the first fruits of Christ's disciples from the Jewish people. Reveal to the children of Israel the fulfillment of the promise made to their forefathers. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Remember the lonely, the orphaned, and the widowed, and do not abandon those who have been reconciled with you by the death of your Son. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You called Stephen to your presence when he bore witness to Jesus, standing at your right hand. Welcome our deceased brothers and sisters who in faith and love hoped for the vision of your glory. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, as we celebrate your Son's resurrection, so may we rejoice with all the saints when he returns in glory, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow, good Lord willing, and uh, we will do it again. All right. God bless.